eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hi, my lovely people. Bad, bad, we gonna talk about it. Let the disclaimer run. Section 107 Fair Use allows us to talk about it. It is our amendment right. Baby, it's for reaction purposes, educational purposes, entertainment purposes, whatever we want it to be. But just keep in mind, don't go out of y'all way disliking anybody we talk about in this video. And it's my opinion and my opinion only. Let's kick it. Now, bad, bad, now we done heard it all, right? They always say it's two sides to every story, but I'm one to say it's three sides. It's the truth. That's somewhere in there, and then it's each person's side, right? Now, yesterday uh, when I did my live, I was going back and looking at the chat. People were saying, was I going to react on it? People were saying, I'm not going to be biased, and they feel like I'm biased against Peach and all this other stuff. So I wanted to make this video, okay? I wanted to talk about it. Now, let me just tell you. I'm going to tell you who I believe in the situation. I believe Miss Tracy. And I'm just going to go out and say that. No, it's not because she peach mom. No, it's not because, oh, I just want to do this and I want it because peach don't like her mom and all. No, I don't try to get into family drama. Like I said, I respect people's mother because I respect my mother, even though we've been through things. And that's just how it's always going to be. All right. But I have said and I have listened, okay? When you listen to stuff, sometimes things just don't add up. And I was saying this in my life. Number one, number one. After listening to these girls' story, they don't know the story themselves. They had this long, drawn-out one part, two part, three part, four part, five part, all of this on TikTok, right? And I'm watching it, and then as I go to part two, the story changed from part one. As I get to part four, it's all done changed. Both of the women, when they very first started, said, I don't know Peach. Then the little uh, one with the poop balls, she says, oh, well, I've heard of her. I've heard of her on TikTok. Um, I heard her song. Oh, well, I don't know her. Then by part three, oh, yeah, I guess I have heard her song. The other one starts to say, the light-skinned one. I guess I do know her. Oh, yeah, I am from Tampa. Oh, I'm from around here. Yeah, well, who don't know about Peach? I mean, then their story did not add up at all that they were talking about. So, therefore, when I saw Miss Tracy get on live and she was crying, she felt regret, she felt sorrow, and she felt like, wow, why did this happen? You could tell the shock in her face you can tell the shock in her voice you can tell the shock in her reaction she felt bad for what she had to do but she had to defend herself so either way it goes whoever threw the first blow <laughs> whoever threw the last blow miss treacy won the fight and it is what it is also since then miss treacy has been going live and she has talked about it so now it's not just one live it's not just two live she's talked about it in three or four lives and the story has stayed the same also, like I said in the live, I watched the video. She told us, Miss Tracy said, I sit next to these two same white women every night. Well, you see them in there. They tried to break up the fight. They were telling her to stop. They were telling her to calm down. So once again, that adds up to her story. Also, I watched the video. Don't know how it started. You could tell, like I said, that there was a tussle that started before the recording started. Because when Miss Tracy walked up, her hair wrap was knocked off, right? Once the walk up happens, oh, it's on. Somebody done already put their hands on it. Miss Tracy keeps on going, grabs the girl up by the hair. And then, okay, the other girl with the poop balls, the skinny one, she slaps the husband and is pushing the husband. So Miss Tracy runs up on her, tackles her, and lets her know you're not going to put your hands on my husband. Like I said, in the heat of the moment, things happen. Once you start already putting your hands on somebody, you're not going to stop just because, oh, well, they recording or whatever the case may be. These two girls, right, they came to have come out of nowhere. Uh-huh. They just don't, oh, I don't know her. I don't know. And then Peach, she has to have an alibi. She's trying to make sure that she has all her ducks in a row. Oh, I don't know these girls. I was at Disney World. Look at me at Disney World. She went as far to post all these pictures of her husband looking miserable and her community post to show she was at Disney World. Then she wants to cry. Oh, I was at Disney World. How was I supposed to know this happened? But then she uh, dogging her mom out. And I'm a big, firm believer, right? If that live that she did when she can disrespect her mother and call her mother out of her name, her grandma and all her family the way that she did, that the way you talk to your mother shows how you truly feel. There's some deep resentment and deep hate. I don't want to get into that because I don't know what it is. But whatever it is, it's there. So I don't put anything past Peach. 
Then the fact that you claim you don't know these women, but you want to keep sharing out their videos. You want to keep talking about them. You want to keep making them relevant. And you also call yourself the fairy god mom of social media. So now you're making them relevant. You're making them out here. Uh, whatever is going on, it just don't add up. So I don't know exactly how y'all feel, but I personally, I believe Miss Tracy. I'm always going to believe that she's not a woman of her stature, of her age, and a woman who has a lot to lose, meaning a job, a place, her car. She's also, as you see, she's got her son over there. She's got to take care of him. She's got her grandchildren. You see her other daughter. She has a lot of things going on. I don't see her wanting to rumble in the casino and then possibly get arrested, possibly get kicked out of the place that she loves and enjoys, then to possibly lose everything over two just bird women that I, I just don't see it i don't see it maybe y'all can tell me what y'all see and what y'all think but i just don't see that in my vision she has a lot more to lose than these two cuckoo whack whacks that got on tiktok talking about they live in the projects but don't peach always be over there trying to show y'all the projects show y'all the new developments show y'all all the housing stuff maybe they ran into each other somewhere like somebody said maybe they had cashier city trends hell maybe they was at the jerk hood who knows who knows at this point I don't care what these girls say. I'm going to say I believe Miss Treacy. There's no reason to lie. It wasn't a stunt. It wasn't anything. It happened. And we have now seen that Miss Treacy is posting on social media that she's back at the casino. She's having a good time. Peach has got out here and said, well, them is old videos of my mama. She's just trying to up up the hard rock. She's trying to do this. She's trying to do that. Once again, don't believe nothing that Peach say half the time. So from what we see, she's back in the hard rock casino. So obviously they reviewed the footage and nobody got arrested. Nobody called the police and they let her back in the door. She's not banned. So baby, once again, that's why I side with her. Y'all got to let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Because baby, that's my take. Toodles.